Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 11 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Genesis 8 verses 6 to 12. Here's the word of God. At the end of 40 days, Noah opened the window of the ark that he had made and sent forth a raven. It went to and fro until the waters were dried up from the earth. Then he sent forth a dove from him to see if the waters had subsided from the face of the ground. But the dove found no place to set her foot, and she returned to him to the ark, for the waters were still on the face of the whole earth. So he put out his hand and took her and brought her into the ark with him. He waited another seven days, and again he sent forth the dove out of the ark. And the dove came back to him in the evening, and behold, in her mouth was a freshly plucked olive leaf, so no one knew that the waters had subsided from the earth. Then he waited another seven days and sent forth the dove, and she did not return to him any more. Genesis 8, 6 to 12. Here's the poem I wrote inspired by those verses. After 40, I'm sorry, Noah witnesses signs of life on earth after flood. After 40 days, Noah opened the ark as he was instructed. He sent forth a raven to see if the waters had retreated. But unfortunately, it went back and forth so he knew it wasn't dried yet. Then he sent a dove as well and it returned to him in the ark again. Noah waited another seven days and sent the dove out once more. That evening, the dove returned with an olive leaf in his mouth. That was a sign for Noah to know that life on earth was restored. He waited another seven days until the dove didn't return anymore. And here's my essay. It must have been challenging to be inside the ark all those 40 days and 40 nights and be locked in those dark walls of the ark. Although it must be pretty noisy and busy with all those animals around them, what irony it was that inside the ark was full of life and outside there were no living things. Amidst the isolation from the other people that the family of Noah felt inside the ark, there was much life in the other animals, beasts, other crawling things and birds. It was dead all around the ark, but so much life inside the ark. After waiting for the signs of life, Noah patiently followed God's instruction without question. How many of us can patiently wait in this very noisy and distracted world we live in now? Reflection. What can you surmise from this account about Noah's character? Well, we see from this account that he is a very patient man. If you can imagine, it, he was over 600 years old at this time. Uh, if I can remember, I think it was over 600 years old. And yet all, all his um, patience has not dwindled away. He got more patient. And um, he also, we also could uh, see how observant he was because he uh, and, and how logical he thought that he sent out the dove to check whether there's life on earth and whether it's clear already that uh, there's no more water around. So we in our world today have a very difficult time to even be quiet and be patient uh, ironic for us to wait. We don't like to wait. Everything in our world today is instant, instant, instant. And there is no, um, there's no room for us to wait patiently. There's no room for us to um, marvel at what God will do when we are patient. So I hope that you get something out of the character of Noah on this, on this account, in this account, because we could learn from this account how God enveloped them with protection and at the same time um, 
he separated them from the world that was corrupted. And if we are faithful to the Lord, he will do the same to us. So let us stay holy and faithful to our Lord. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos and give you the Word of God. Thanks for watching, and please check my other 3,000 videos that I've done all these 11 years. At, uh, if you want to just look at them, just type on Google or YouTube search Ilma's Palm Devotional. Have a wonderful day.